AR glasses are coming to your Facebook experience. A patent application for Facebook's augmented reality glasses reveals details of the company's highly anticipated smart device. Facebook's AR glasses are designed to look like ordinary glasses. They will be capable of playing audio when connected to headphones or speakers. The glasses include a waveguide system that uses lasers to emit light into the lens displays, which then transform into images projected into the user's eyes. The users will be able to see a superimposed image on top of a live image of the real world. Other tech giants are developing smart glasses using similar waveguide technology, which includes Microsoft's HoloLens AR headset and the glasses being developed by the Google-backed startup Magic Leap. Augmented reality will soon be living in it. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Quantum Interface is developing predictive interface software for AR and VR applications. Jonathan Josephson is trying to develop a foundation for the way we interact with augmented reality and virtual reality devices. This is going to be the greatest design revolution we've had since the days of the mouse. Josephson is the founder and chief technology officer of Quantum Interface, a software and design company in Austin, Texas, that is developing predictive interface software, which allows users to search through menus on their devices with only one continuous motion. Now we can begin to put our content in a three-dimensional array in augmented reality and move once towards where we want to go. That doesn't exist now in our interfaces. According to Josephson, the touch and touchless prototypes are based on three design principles. It's a change of angle simultaneously selects and controls the attribute. It's a continuous motion. Then we use it where inside of a sensor field, wherever the user begins to interact, that becomes the point of origin. So it's a relative motion with changes of angle, speed, and acceleration. And then we begin to draw a vector so we can predict what it is that the user would like to interact with. This is the biggest change for designers. If they design differently, they can use different interfaces that are much more natural. But how do we know if the system is actually natural and easy to use? Josephson says that it has to do with the way our brain works. We actually are using the fastest part of the brain and a part that the brain can learn the easiest. So when somebody tries out our interfaces, it takes about five seconds to learn instead of 20 seconds to learn. The button-based system where I have to remember where those buttons are and then touch and release requires a higher cognitive load to recognize where those are. QI Launch Mobile for Android smartphones and tablets and QI Launch Wear for Android smartwatches is currently in private beta testing. This augmented reality app allows users to virtually apply special effects in real time. Modiface Live is an augmented reality beauty app that uses face tracking and gesture tracking technology. The app allows users to virtually apply makeup in real time and record a video of their different looks. According to Modiface founder and CEO Param Arabi, developing a makeup app was an accident. Initial idea was for defense applications for lip reading. But as a funding on the side, we decided to put this a, a, a version of this for changing your lips on online. But that became very popular and it told us that there's a lot of interest in something like this. 
According to Aravi, over the past eight years, users had to upload their photos and manually define the shapes of their eyes, eyebrows, and lips by adjusting points on their photos. After 100 million photos, the system learned how to recognize these facial patterns. The app also tracks gestures such as a pouting lip or a raised eyebrow because it compares facial movements relative to each other. Based on the gesture, the app suggests different makeup applications. Someone with a critical eye may be wondering why users would even want an augmented reality app for applying makeup. People have always been interested in trying different effects on their own photo. The, the selfie phenomenon of, of applying different things on your image has been very popular. But we believe it's even more popular when it's instant and easy to access and when it relates to videos. Arabi says they'll be launching a medical version of the Modiface Live app in 2016.